the position of the woman in the church consigning dressing. Consigning dressing. First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 9. First Timothy 2 verse 9. Yes. In like manner also, in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. He said this is the manner that the women of Christ should adorn themselves with what? Modest apparel. Modest apparel. Please, if you are a woman, go and check this world and start living how the world say you should live because the gospel hit the women very well because it was the gospel was corrupted through the woman the gospel was corrupted through the woman so the woman is being taken conscious again putting in a majors put in a guideline so that they will operate and not tamper with the word again. Praise the Lord. So that they will not tamper with the word again. Nine to ten. With modest apparel. With modest apparel. With shamefacedness. Now, modest means something that will not attract sexual attentions. Or something that will not attract attentions. Shiny things. Modest, modest apparel. Clothes that doesn't attract. For some of you that you get some women, because women, they use clothes and wrapper. Take the be like say they are life. They sew their life inside clothes and wrapper. Fashion. If other people are doing it, please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't consider clothing as important thing in life. Because that is how the heathens do. Allow them to do their fashions. God doesn't want you to fashion like the world do. Be moderate. Somebody say be moderate. Our women be moderate. No go to war, war. <laughs> and no go to <laughs> to shout. Uh, what did they call her? Shouty. I've been waiting. Don't go to war, war. Don't go to shouty. Remain moderate. Look fine. Look beautiful. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you want to sew gowns, sew it very well. Very decent. Anything you are doing, first of all, put this word in your mind. If you they come to church or you they go out anywhere you are, it is not only when you are coming to church that you'll be a Christian. It is both outside and inside. Say, let your light shine. Where? Both outside. You say we are like a a light that is set upon the hills. So, people are watching. God is watching. Everything is supposed to be the light of this world. People are supposed to take influence from us and not we taking influence from the world. Praise the Lord. People are supposed to copy us. We are not supposed to copy them. Hallelujah. If you enter your wardrobe, after today, go and check your wardrobe and burn some clothes. Or if you know if you burn them, go and sell them. And give it to the people where they wear them. There are people that are wearing it. If you sew gun, sew it the way that it will not cause sexual attractions. If you want buy skirt, buy skirt that will cover you well. And buy a better one. Hallelujah. So that it will not be like some unbelievers. People that will say they are unbelievers. They are the people even dressing well. Go to Saudi Arabia. Go and check their women. 
You will see fine, fine clothes, but very decent. You can't see any part of their body. You can't see any part of their body. Today's generation, today's people, today's women, they want to show their nakedness. Go to internet, it is 90% nakedness they are showing there. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, nakedness is the spirit of the Laudation Church Age. Don't be caught by that spirit. The Lord was warning us to buy from him. Abi? He said, buy what? I serve. Abi? That we may see very clear. Buy remnant also. Buy another cloth. Remove the other cloth where they wear. Because that cloth is giving them nakedness before the eyes of the Lord. They are not covered well. As God is looking at Laudation Church Age, is looking at naked people. Please don't promote it. Please don't promote it. If you don't wear it and you wear it to your children, it's as good as somebody where they share rats. You know they shop rats. But if they share rats with a mouth, you go use a mouth, cut and divide them for your children. Praise the Lord. Let us not buy the spirit of Laudation Church age. They are naked people. The spirit warns us this in this age that this age is naked and is calling us out of nakedness. If you as a woman, because where nakedness always starts from is from the woman. If you go to any church, you find out that if you want to find out the spirit that is operating in that church, look at the women first. You will know that the women there, the way they operate, you will just conclude the spirit that is in operation in that church. That is one of the reasons why we don't dress with trousers. That's part of the revelations. Because trousers brings out your sexual, your sexual body out. Praise the Lord. By the spirit, we know those things. There's nowhere in the Bible that is written that women should not wear trousers. Nowhere in the Bible. Hallelujah. There's no also in the Bible that women should, uh, that is plainly written that women should wear skirts. Praise the Lord. But Apostle Paul began to tell us that our women, likewise manner, we should carry a manner, we should carry a lifestyle that we should dress modest. Modest. Dressing modest. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Not with, he said, gold is refer, when you talk about gold, costly apparatus. There are people that you don't even have money to eat. You have not eaten well. But the woman wants to wear George. I mean, George and Holland is which one cost pass? George. Elephant judge. Which one be elephant judge? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Am I saying something? There are people that doesn't have food to eat. They want to wear elephant judge as our prophet talk. Okay, not elephant. Okay, now your own version. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You yourself, you are looking for clothes to wear, better clothes to wear. You are not even seeking for how to please your husband. You are not seeking for what will please your husband. Because if you don't seek for what will please, for your, hus will please your husband, you are, you are already out of creation. You are out of, you are out of order. All the days of the life of the women, that they should seek what will please their husband. Because woman is a shadow of the church. The way church should seek how to please God, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, is how the women is fashioned 
to seek on what to please the husband. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 